。接下来，请收看经典佛曲。There's a reason behind your birth. It's not by chance you're here on earth. Who you are is how you have been. The law of karma tirelessly spins. Just love.
man who dreamt he was a butterfly. He roamed the world, fluttered his wings, and there flew high. He awoke from slumber and began to question why. He was no longer sure if he was a man or a butterfly. How can I be sure I'm not just dreaming? How can I be sure in a world that's ever changing? Like bubbles and lightning, the world is an illusion. Each fleeting moment is magic, deceiving our human vision. Phenomenon, nothing, things are not what they seem. The young grow old, this earthly life is like a dream. Yet amidst this illusion, snowmen know the truth supreme. The enlightened mind can comprehend the unseen. So why attach oneself to the material? Is not to stay forever and not real. Why give importance to the body that grows old and dies when we can heed to the wisdom of Buddha's advice? So why attach oneself to the It's not to stay forever and not real. Why give importance to the body that grows old and dies when we can heed to the wisdom of Buddha's advice? We can heed to the wisdom. And faces, endless train of days. Can science explain the reason of an encounter? Why I should get to meet one and not another? There are those who live just a stone throw away, but somehow our paths. Did not lead us to say how are you today? Hope you have a nice day. The greetings we send to someone who is miles away. Yet is the reason why we are together, sister and brother. Mother and father, yen is the reason why we are together. Husband, wife, friends and lovers. In life, it is yen that brings us together. A friend I once knew only yen. Stranger, life is woven with the same principle everywhere. Yen is the reason I meet one and not another. Yen is.
a reason why we are together, sister.希望各位多收看生命电视台，将生命电视台所听到的教法进入您的心，改变您的生活，帮助这个世界。护持账号 1996 Behind, be a Buddha. 
a butterfly He roamed the world Fluttered his wings and there flew high He awoke from slumber And began to question why He was no longer sure If he was a man or a butterfly How can I be sure I'm not just dreaming How can I be sure that's ever changing Like bubbles and lightning The world is an illusion Each fleeting moment is magic Deceiving our human vision Everything's phenomenal Nothing's are not what they seem The young grow Earthly life is like a dream Yet amidst this illusion Snoom another truth supreme The enlightened mind can comprehend the unseen So why attach oneself to the material When this is not to stay forever Yen is the reason 
while we are together, sister and brother, mother and father, yeah, is the reason why we are together, husband, wife, friends and lovers, so let us sow seeds of good yeah bring joy and peace to our fellow men life is short we are told time and again so let us build a world of good yen my friend yen is the reason while we are together sister and brother mother and father yeah 打开生命电视台就是打开你的心，打开你的心，就让我们心中的佛陀呈现出来，把爱、慈悲、平等、清净净智慧。愿各位常常打开生命电视台，打开你的菩提心，也期望各位多护持生命电视台。护持账号：一九九九六五二三三二一九九九六五二三三二。护民民生生命化基金会。小小画眉，舍命救子。二零零七年八月三日。在四川成都诚信路边，发生一件令人动容的悲剧，而这场戏的主角却是三只画眉鸟。那天上午十一点多，市民张先生在经过诚信路诚实银行的时候，看到一幕让人好奇的景象。咦，张先生看到两只画眉鸟一直在摩托车道上盘旋，且离地面距离非常近。大约一公尺高，并不断试图往地上俯冲。这是怎么回事呢？张先生非常好奇，走进地面一看，只见一只鸡蛋大小的小鸟躺在路中间，翅膀上有明显的血迹，看起来奄奄一息。原来他们是想救他。喂，别站在马路中间，太危险了。这里有只受伤的小鸟。哦，这只小鸟可伤得不轻啊！看样子，这两只大鸟应该是这只受伤小鸟的父母，它们不过安危的飞来飞去，很可能是在提醒司机不要压倒小鸟。嗯，很有可能。这时候，两只画眉鸟往下俯冲，很快的飞到小鸟的身边，并快速的伸出爪子，牢牢抓住小鸟受伤的翅膀。一左一右，合力把小鸟抓到路边的一棵大树下。他们想干什么呢？他们是想把这只小鸟带到安全的地方吧？真不可思议，这么两只小小的画眉鸟，竟然能合力带着这只受伤的小鸟飞起来。我们应该去帮帮他们。我们还是远远的看着吧，免得惊吓到他们。也对。这时，体型稍大的鸟爸爸突然迅速飞上树梢，而鸟妈妈则仍然守在孩子身边，并用嘴不断的舔着小鸟翅膀上的血。小鸟艰难地吃完虫子，鸟爸爸来回两次飞上树梢，叼回虫子喂它。小鸟吃了三只虫子后，鸟爸爸和鸟妈妈便又用爪子一左一右抓起小鸟，试图将它送到大树上。他们是想把这只小鸟带到哪里呢？他们应该是想把小鸟带到树枝上吧？那么高。他们带着小鸟能飞上去吗？两只大鸟抓着小鸟，吃力地向上飞着。
可距离树枝还有很大一段距离时，两只小鸟因体力不支又掉了下来。两只鸟剧烈地呼吸着，休息了一会儿，又一次抓着小鸟飞了起来。可是还没飞到树枝那儿，又开始往下掉。这两只画眉鸟如此反复了五六次，因为树实在太高了，它们怎么也无法将小鸟送上去。但是。他们却仍然不停地尝试。他们这样根本不行的，他们根本无法带着小鸟飞上树枝。明知道不行，他们为什么还要一次次的努力尝试？这就是父母对孩子爱的力量。我必须要去帮帮他们。两只鸟正在那里剧烈地喘息着休息，小鸟站在那里毫无力气。张先生走过去后，那两只鸟立刻警觉地起来，直直地看着张先生，并发出阵阵叫声。不要害怕，我不会伤害你们的。我是来帮你们的。两只鸟似乎明白张先生在说什么，他们停止了叫声，但仍警觉地看着他。然而，过了一会儿，一直守在孩子身边的鸟爸爸、鸟妈妈又开始行动了。他们凑在小鸟身边，叽叽喳喳大叫一番，然后由鸟爸爸第三次抓起孩子的翅膀。他们又想做什么？可能是想飞回鸟窝吧。不过，他们都已经精疲力尽了，很难飞太远的。然而，不幸的一幕发生了。在快要到达时，鸟爸爸正因体力不支，不小心松掉了爪中的小鸟。只听见“砰”的一声，小鸟直接摔在了马路上。啊！不好了，小鸟掉下来了！两只大鸟疯狂地叫着俯冲下来，停在小鸟身边，不停地用嘴轻啄着小鸟，可是小鸟却已一动不动。两只大鸟守在一旁，不断哀嚎，声音中充满凄厉。它们的翅膀也在不停颤栗，眼神中写满悲伤。最后，张先生不忍再看这悲伤的一幕，便将小鸟送到附近的花园，妥善安葬。谁道君生性命危？一般骨肉一般皮，劝君莫打枝头鸟。死在朝中盼母归，希望这只小鸟能够得到安息，也希望能有更多人爱护小动物，不要伤害它们，因为它们跟我们一样，都有父母儿女在。